In fact, I think we broke the flights. We're so high, we genuinely did break the flight simulator. We're literally in space. <clears throat> everybody, I think it's very safe to say humanity finally has reached its peak. Yes, we finally have got a UFO add-on for the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. You know, the thing is, I mean, yesterday I made a video about this very interesting boat you can now buy for the flight simulator for 11 euros. But honestly, this apparently blows it all out of the water. What kind of add-on is this here? Actually, quite literally. I mean, look at look at this here. We've got a very nicely designed interior, a lot of features right here. Look at this. Yes, everybody. In today's video, let's go ahead and fly this interesting UFO, see if this add-on is any good. This is, of course, free to download. It looks super interesting. Yes, I've just downloaded this here from the internet. Let's go ahead and spawn in. Now, what perfect airport is there for a UFO? Of course, it's our good old friend, Homey Air Base, better known as Area 51. Everybody, it's time for alien time. Let's go fly. Hmm, okay, look at that UFO, everybody, let's go. Yes, this is what a UFO looks like right here. Looks um, like a UFO from the outside. Of course, the Area 51 base is known to this kind of plane flying here, so that's no problem. Let's go ahead and hop into the cockpit bit of this interesting airplane. And here we can see, well, it's a proper, more of a control room, really. Of course, for all the aliens to sit and uh, watch the globe, I guess this is the navigation system here. Very uh, interesting. Okay, we've got some chairs. Sadly, no aliens, though. That could be quite disappointing. What we have right here is a sink and a kettle. Hmm, interesting. And a Pac-Man game. Okay, I'll take that. And a, a proper gas stove as well. And a, and a blender. Hmm, so we've learned something new. Apparently, aliens use normal kitchen supplies. Interesting. Yes, but anyway, enough of messing around or in the cockpit just, you know, looking at this kitchen. It's now time to fly this. Yeah, this UFO is fairly easy to control right here. This is the engine toggle. Let's just turn that on right here. Yes, look at those. I mean, those sounds are quite interesting. This it's one of those features that this thing actually has. Custom sounds. Hmm. We can also open a hatch. I guess we can do that later on. Let's go ahead and first of all, fly though. I'm just gonna, uh, you know, give some thrust here. Come on, take off. Yes, here we go. UFO is actually taking off. Oh, oh my God. Kind of flies kind of like a helicopter. Yeah, it doesn't fly at all like a helicopter, but it kind of functions like a helicopter. Here we go. All right. Well, f first of all, what I'm noticing is that this thing is quite fast. I mean, how if we put the engine to full power, how fast will it go up is the question. My God, that is some insane speed, dude. Yes, well, this interesting UFO add-on actually does here in the flight simulator is definitely break, uh, you know, some barriers. My God. God. We can fly this thing at a maximum speed of 7,100 knots and also at a maximum altitude of 275,000. Interesting. And we're already at 71. And it does still fly, which uh, is just quite crazy. I mean, look at that vertical speed. Damn. It's been a while since I've been uh, th this high here in the flight simulator. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this is Homi Urba. He's in the Nevada desert. And we can from here see, well, California and LA and uh, the sea and some islands. This is just absolutely crazy. And uh, in fact, I think we broke the flights. We're so high, we genuinely did break the flight simulator. We're literally in space. Great. But anyway, let's go ahead and fly a little bit more smoothly right here. Now, something else that we have here to control is lights. We can toggle some lights, which look... Oh, sorry. Oh, damn. Very sturdy UFO as well. We go. We can toggle a green laser light, which I think is really cool. It gives us, you know, a little bit more UFO kind of vibes. Now, of course, we can control more than just our altitude. We can also... Well, <laughs> well we use <laughs> the joystick to fly backward. Oh, back and front. Oh, forward and backwards. Yeah, this is not very well controllable. I mean, it, it is absolutely fast. I mean, if we go full forward on the joystick. What happens then? Will we reach that 7,500 knots? Which would kind of enable us to fly like around the world in four hours. Damn. Yes. Look at that. We're super fast. Even here in the cockpit, then this is quite shaky up here. All right, everything's fine, my 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 dear aliens. Oh my God, that's just absolutely crazy. I mean, can we maybe fly to like where can we go? Let's go to um like California. How does that sound? Oh my God, we're crashing. All right, UFO is definitely died. definitely died. Oh my God, this is I I love how this is just way too much to handle. Oh, all right, yeah, but <clears throat> sorry, we have to apologize to the aliens. That was a little bit too much. All right, can we go to like somewhere civilization? My goodness, where the hell are we? Come on. Yeah, let's go to like. 
control A or something like that. I mean, they haven't really nailed the proper control of this airplane. We're just kind of meandering around somewhere in the US. Come on. We're at 70,000 feet again. We're just way too high. We can play Pac-Man, though. That sounds cool. All right. This is not, this is not going well. Anyway, another feature that this thing has is like this open hatch thing. Can we do that? What happens then? Can we like, uh, oh yeah, can we, can, what's that head? What is that? Oh, look at this. We've got a hatch that's opening. We can kind of, yes. We can now enter space, dude. That is crazy. How long did this take to actually make? Because this it actually does look like a lot of work. And we are now seriously in space. Look at the stars, my dudes. Good. All right, meanwhile, we're just flying, I guess, above the Sierra Mountains here of California. Great to see. I mean, this does make me a little bit happy. Because if real UFOs actually were to fly that badly, like be able to control that badly, then of course it wouldn't be all too easy for aliens to find us. I mean, look at this. Even though we look at our airspeed. Is that 90,000 knots? Is, this, is that how fast we are? I've never been this fast in a flight simulator. The thing is, I would have thought that the flight simulator had actually a maximum speed of like a few hundred knots, but that apparently is not the case. And we are now, I mean, we're back in civilization, by the way, somewhere uh, in Northern California. I think we're actually near weed. That's great. But, uh, okay, you know what? I've, I've kind of regained control of this. Maybe, maybe it does take a bit of a while to get the hang of this. This is fine. Something else that makes me a little bit happy, of course, is the fact that we have no weapons on board because those will be probably very destructive. But this uh, thing as a weapon is just absolutely, I mean, look how fast we can go. My God, 20,000? Is that 20,000 knots? And we're just kind of meandering up into space again for some reason. Look at this. We've got some, is that San Francisco Bay Area? Yes, look at that. I mean, I do have to say the space shuttle flew a lot, lot more control. Oh yeah, space shuttle flew a lot more controllable than, than this. Damn. All right, meanwhile, we are now um in the Pacific Ocean. Hmm, not going very well this flight, my God. Now, of course, something else that this very highly equipped UFO has is a, a sort of an auto pile right here, an, uh, an auto Oh! Now, this autopilot will normally hold an altitude automatically, but um, it's not really able to hold the altitude of zero feet. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm just going to turn you off. Can we? All right, I've lost hope. Oh, damn. We genuinely broke the flight. This has reached a level of brokenness. Oh, sorry. All right, can we hold the altitude of like 12,000? Oh, I mean, yeah, I mean, it does say here in the description that it's a little bit more of an experimental thing. Yeah, I can see. So let me try this again, just take off right here and me turn this on now in midair. That would be a smart idea. There we go, turn it on. It's the same, it's just broken. Great. Yeah, that's why it says experimental. I mean, something else I'm wondering about, what happens if you untoggle the engine right here, if you turn it off? Are we just gonna crash like a helicopter? Come on, turn it off. Yeah. Turned off the engine right now, it's not delivering any power. Oh, never mind, it is. We've just lost sound. Very realistic, this UFO. I mean, it's like the thing, how did they make this add-on? Like, I mean, you cannot really make it realistic because UFOs aren't realistic, or are they? I don't know. Area 51 would give us some answers, I guess. It's not gone well. All right. Oh, sorry. Damn. So yes, everybody. This is probably one of the most useful add-ons we've had for a while. I mean, look, it has a spinning globe here. You can now download this for free. It's got 4.8 stars, which is really good. Uh, what can be improved is, of course, the controllability, because this thing just meanders around pretty much at some point. I don't know, but that's just great to see. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's extraterrestrial video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, as always. Good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Spice, Robbie, Middle Aged, Levi, Junk in the Trunk, Mubarak, Darren K, Oh Man, Moritz, John, Kelly Chaos, Death Rider, uh, Ragings, Noah, Yes Aviation, Producers are One, Saturn, Cat, Sunno, Shadow, New, New York, and Jackie Boy.